And how would you like to be treated on set? Would you like to be uh, talked down to, or would you like to be right. uh, treated as, as someone that is a um, proficient at what they do and incredibly smart and, and just want to uh, do a great job at what they do. Even background actors. Like I remember when I was on background and you're like, you're, you're kind of huddled with the other background actors and you see the people speaking over there and they're talking mm -hmm. to the directors and they have lines and you're just like, Oh wow, that's really cool. And there's a, uh, maybe an unspoken rule of like, not as background, you're not really interacting with the leads so much, but I made a point if I passed one of them or if I was back in holding at the craft table, I'd be like, great job, everyone. Or that was really cool. Or even on set, there was a kid, there was a kid skateboarding by and I was like, oh, you are you a skateboarder? And it was like, he was like, no, I never skateboarded before. And I was like, well, you're killing it today. Maybe you'll be a, you'll be a pro <laughs> skateboarder by the end. Like that kind of stuff. Just rem remembering that like everybody there is a human being, regardless mm -hmm. of their of their rank on the on the call sheet. Um, and I, I remember that because I remember being the background person. And I remember looking at those people like, oh, my God, like, who is that guy right there? And the if if any of those people had to walk past, past me back then and been like, hey, great job on that last take, even if it was just a fucking all I did was white frame. That would have like blown my fucking mind where I would have been like or or something like, yeah, great job. Are you are you looking to be an actor or like stick with it? Like like something as tiny as that. You don't know how how that might pay off to a to a young actor or to a kid. So, yeah, that, that was a big lesson for me.